Hey everyone, this is Mohammed Essen and how to put this in a really good manner. I've written a book, which means that the book that I was writing for about a year, it's now out, it's published. Can you believe it? I mean, this is amazing, right? And if you are an Angular developer, this book is definitely for you. Let me tell you a bit about me if you're new to the channel. I'm a Google developers expert in Angular, which means Google itself acknowledges my expertise. And for the past eight years, I've been working with Angular from ground up. If you remember, I mean, if you have been working with Angular, you might know that in the previous days when it was AngularJS, and then we have those dollar apply, dollar digest cycles, ah, pain in the head. I've been working with Angular since then. And from Angular 2 to now Angular 12, I've been working all along on Angular with multiple projects including small projects as well as enterprise projects and large-scale projects as well. So I've compiled all my knowledge with all those amazing techniques that I have built to create enterprise-level scalable applications into that book. And the book is in the format of problem, recipe, and then solution, which makes it really useful because all those example projects are real-life scenarios which you are going to be using in your daily Angular projects. So whether it is about Angular animations or using performance optimizations in Angular, maybe performing unit tests or writing end-to-end -end tests, or even using third-party libraries like, for instance, if you're using Angular CDK to create your own components, this book directly teaches you with real-world examples. And I'm not just going to talk here and bore you out to death. I'm going to show you the projects right now which are used in the book. Let's go. An example of an attribute directive that highlights whatever you search in the input. Then we have the list animation. So this project basically shows you to implement staggering animations for list items whenever you add item or remove item from the bucket. Talking about custom animations, it is possible to implement a lot of complex animations just like this. Talking about complex out animations, look at this beautiful project that you're going to learn. This is a really good example of the combined latest operator. The box is listening to the stream of these four inputs and changes its value whenever the input changes for either of those. So you're going to learn that as well with the book. You're also going to create your own custom form controls, which should be seamlessly integratable with template-driven forms as well as reactive forms. This is a really good example of CDK drag and drop that you learn with the project. As you can see, we can move files from one folder to another and even within the folder, we can reorder files. So this will teach you how to implement that in real-world applications. We are going to be testing our applications via Cypress. So look at this really cool example that tests the user's page with some critical scenarios. This is a really good example of performance with Angular with the run outside Angular method. You'll love it. We are also going to look at progressive web apps with Angular and we are going to basically install that within our machines with this project. If your Angular app supports Tarmok, so does your PWA. Check this project that we are going to build with one of the recipes within the book that supports dark mode for PWAs. Alright, awesome. I hope that you like the project and I would highly encourage that you get your copy today. The link should be in the description. And if you are an Angular expert, I would highly appreciate your feedback on the book so I can improve the next version of the book going forward. So please review the content and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Apart from the book, I would like to announce that as of today, we have started a community called Code with Essen and I'm right now streaming on Twitch to teach Mernstack right from the scratch. We have had two streams so far and I'm going to continue teaching Mernstack and then we are eventually going to teach Flutter, Angular and whatnot on Twitch. We are 80 people strong on Twitch right now. If you would like to support this community, feel free to become a subscriber on Twitch or you can just use the Buy Me A Coffee platform to support this community and the links should be in description. As always, happy coding and I'm going to see you in the next one.